So here we are with Thomas, and Hello. what's the plan? Okay, so today we're planning on flying the EFX Racer. Um, lately we haven't been having the best of weather as far as long open windows, but um, this is basically the best we've gotten, so... Well, interestingly, the wind's blowing again, so uh, it's not going to be a calm, perfect weather for it, is it? Mm, then again, I've heard that the EFX Racer is basically a pocket rocket that's always on rails, so... So I hope that we'll get it tuned up. Uh, we've got to get the battery in there, so that's going to be interesting. Um, this will be the maiden, so yeah, let's make it happen. Yep, let's do it. Okay, so Dad is getting the battery in right now, and it's a very small compartment. <laughs> yes, it certainly is. Now, according to what everyone's been telling us, if you push this guy in, as far as he'll go in, right up against the firewall, right there. If it reaches. Yes, if it reaches. Yeah, it looks like that is the firewall. Okay. Not as far in as you thought? Not as far in as I thought. Yeah, there you go. That's in. So that's in as far as it will go. Pop this guy back in here. And you should like curve that around like, back here in the instructions. Really? Yes. Well, I can't it's go like that weird. way. Maybe I'll pop around the other side. It's like weird the way they do it, but it seems to work, so. So we're going to pop in around this way. Okay, that's in. This thing's a bit awkward to get the battery in. That's probably the only thing I don't really like about it. The quality and build of this thing is really quite exceptional, isn't it? Yeah, it's quite insane. Uh, okay, that's good. Turning Welcome the transmitter. Okay, let's power this guy up. Let's go at the back. We have an operational working EFX. Let's see if it flies. Okay, that's in nicely. Do you want me to do the hole checking the... Where's the rates? Okay, that's a rate switch. Are we going to start off on lower high? I think low rates is probably the safer way to go. Yes, I'd agree. So, a little bit nervous? Yeah, I'm kind of actually shaking a little bit, but... Okay. So we'll see how we go. I'll let you know how much throttle we'll put on, okay? Yep. Now I'm going to set the GoPro, this thing up. I'm not sure we're going to get some footage of this or not, but we'll try. But anyway, give us a bit of, we're going to launch this way into the ring. Okay. A little bit of throttle. We should have set 120 FPS. Throttle? And my hands are like sweaty. Oh my gosh, that flies awesome. What are your thoughts? Um, it is on rails, like really on whales. That whales? Was quite uneventful, wasn't it? Yeah. It's quiet at low power. I'm not flying that fast because I want to get used he's to it. He's actually flying it quite slow at the moment. He's flying beautifully. Mm. Did you want me to do the trimming? Um, yeah, there's not much trimming to do though. And I've got it. Flies wonderful, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. Jeez, my hands are shaking a bit. I'm trembling with the power of the EFX. So, what we're doing is what I do was pulling a little bit to the left, uh, rolling to the left. Try and get a better angle of this. So now that's level flight and it should stay that way. It's not refocusing. Well, how does it feel? It feels nice. And the half throttle. This is running the 3S setup, by the way. And the stock propeller. And this is flying really nice. She's not going to do anything. Low pass. Very nice. Nice and slow, too. This is actually quite easy to fly, isn't it? Yeah. It's really quite surprising. I mean, you can get a bit of speed on it. 
uh, but it flies beautiful. I feel like it's slow because you actually get to really admire the shape of this thing. It's 10 out of 10 as far as I'm, as far as I'm concerned. Nice. It's like, it's easily, I'd call it one of the best third person, I guess, line of sight aircraft that I've gotten. Well, as far as, I mean, the only issue that I can see with is the battery's a little bit tight to get in, but that's only the minor thing, isn't it, really? Yeah, and I'm sure that there could be an easy mod. But admittedly, that's the first battery we've actually put in there, so I've probably got to get used to how to put the battery in there. But really, mm. other than that, there's no real issues with it, is there? The build quality no. is superb, isn't it? Yeah, and it came together really easily. Like, easiest aircraft to put together. So, but anyway, look, if you have a read through the thread where people have actually commented on this aircraft, the feedback's been 100% positive. It's sort of like the... um. Uh, the Tyrannus, isn't it? Where the consensus is that it's just, it's really good, isn't it? Yeah. Look, I must say the maiden of the EFX racer was pretty much uneventful, wasn't it? Um, yeah, the takeoff was just smooth and easy. It just didn't do anything dramatic at all. It was uh, pretty much um, almost like it was already trimmed out, wasn't it? Uh, yeah, and the battery, well, it literally just slides in. Yeah, the battery, uh, everyone basically said, look, just pop the battery in there, make sure it's right up against the firewall and the CG will be fine, guaranteed, no dramas whatsoever. And that's exactly what we did. Uh, we didn't actually bother balancing it. We just went by the feedback that we had from a bajillion other people. And sure enough, it was just totally uneventful. Pop the battery in there, have everything set to neutral and off she went. Um, yes, also an interesting thing I noticed just while it was in the air, parts of it kind of resemble a Mustang. It does actually look very Mustang-like, doesn't it? I was like, it looks really nice in the air, doesn't it? Um, yeah, it's really beautiful. And this is also, it's well, it's also worth mentioning. This is the first Durafly model that we've actually purchased, and it's pretty superb, isn't it? Well, yeah, and then the way everything went together, and just the overall quality of everything is really, really good. So we're using basically everything stock as per what came with it, and it's performing quite well. We're only running it on a three-cell setup at the moment. We may go to a four-cell, but Thomas is going to focus on building up your skill level, aren't you? Um, yes, I'd like to get down pat flying it before I go straight to four-cell. So yeah, look, all in all, the prop's even stock on it. Um, some people suggested changing the prop. It seems a bit soft, doesn't it? Um, yeah, it's a bit soft, although it seems to fly really it, well still. It does the job. It's working fine. I mean, gosh, there's not much I can actually say about this model other than, look, it just works pretty much as planned. So anyway, look, we'll let you watch the rest of the video, and thank you very much for taking the time to watch this, and we will catch you guys later. Hope you enjoy it. See ya. So this is Thomas' landing approach. Can you talk us in? Yep. Oh, this is still floating. That was no power the whole time coming in on that approach. That was, I mean, what we've got probably about a 10k wind, would you say? Yeah. 10k, maybe 5k's have picked up just now a little bit, 10 to 5k's. And that was. A I had the power cut, no, so easy. Slow landing. Your thoughts? Best third person aircraft I've ever flown. Uh, probably not good if you're learning how to fly, but. It's not a beginner aircraft, that's yeah. for sure. As but. a fun aircraft. It's easily one of my most fun third-person aircraft. And it's worth noting too that you haven't actually been flying an aircraft for ages. Uh, you've been focusing on a multi-rider, so you're actually out of practice. Well, yeah, the last thing I flew third-person would have been the 109. Yeah, so you've done pretty good. Let's go check it out. So this is the aircraft. She's all looking good. No dramas. I like the lovely skid on here. This is awesome. They've actually got a skid here. Skid, 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 skid. So basically, you're not going to damage the foam. No damage at all. Final thoughts. Really, really good design, and it flies awesome. Um, Hobby King, I think this is one of your best aircraft ever. There you go. Thanks very much for watching, guys. Catch you guys later. See ya.